Hey everybody, it's Scott with Hawaii Jet Boat Adventures. Welcome to episode 27. I know this is out of order, but there is a method to my madness. Back at episode 17, I introduced everybody to my Franken cover, which is the travel cover from Yamaha that when our boats leave the Yamaha factory, they get covered with this travel cover. Basically, it's made out of um, what I like to call dryer lint and uh, scotch tape. It's so thin, but it has survived almost two years in the Hawaii sun. It's been lovingly patched over and over with, who knows, right there is a, a, a rug I had in the garage, kitchen floor of the garage. Here's some custom venting holes. And it's been lovingly cared for for almost two years, but we are retiring it as of this weekend. Uh, this is a Saturday that I'm recording this, and I've already uh, buried this, I guess you might say, and I've received and installed a, a, a cover that is adequate. The new cover that went on is not perfect, as you'll see here in a, in a few minutes. It's adequate, it's not perfect, but for the price point, it's excellent. This is the last time, the final removal. Look at all the all the deterioration. I think I went through a one of the largest brown tarps that you can get from the big box store, cut it, used a lot of con I think I went through at least two gallons of uh, contact cement, a number of linear feet of um, marine thread. And I decided to keep these vents because as you'll see when I show you pictures of the new cover it has some really weak ass uh, vents so I cut the old ones off and I'll probably install them here's the burial this is the transfer station there she blows or I should say there she goes Anyway, the replacement cover. This I got from Amazon. Now, the backstory to this. If you have a 19-foot Yamaha SX190, do not buy the boat cover from Amazon Basics. That is for a 19. You will be disappointed when you get it. It will not fit. The bow section in front of the windshield on our boats is wider than what is made for that boat. So I had to end up getting a the next level up, the 20 to 22 foot cover, is a few more dollars. I think it's about seven dollars difference, but the larger, uh, the uh, the longer cover is larger, wider, and longer. Now, normally that's it's not a great fit, but as I said earlier, it's adequate. It does not have any drawstrings like your stock one did or your uh, with the more expensive covers that are nice, nice and form fitted. But it does have a heavy duty piece of. Uh, elastic band running around inside it and that as I'm describing here in the text um, that elastic band will pull it tight so this cover has and this also this cover has not been tested at a uh, highway speeds yet the buckles are your standard plastic fare you can see there's a lot of excess right here For just sitting static, I think this is a great cover. It was, I actually think it was easier to put on than the uh, stock one. Because you actually had to get up inside the boat and roll it up and bring it over the backside and it was just kind of a pain. This was actually a lot easier. And I was able to do this uh, yesterday when I got the, when I got the package and it was, it was windy and I was able to get it on in about, I don't know, three or four minutes. I'm using the stock Yamaha uh, poles, the rain poles to keep the puddles off. This right here, these are the vents that are on the back of it. I don't think these are adequate at all. I don't know how any air is going to escape my boat from just these uh, vents that are at the back. So I'm probably going to end up putting uh, holes up near where the stock one was and sewing them in.
For $119, I think it was a very good deal. So we're all pal, and we'll see you at the next one. Aloha.